Hi, today I'm going to talk about the. I said, again, what is wrong with. Let's start with perhaps what's one of the most iconic SCPs. SCP-682. SCP-682 is a large, vaguely reptile-like creature of unknown origin. It appears to be extremely intelligent and was observed to engage in complex communication with SCP-079, about which we're going to talk about later during their limited time of exposure. SCP-682 appears to have a hatred of all life, which has been expressed in several interviews during containment. So it has, uh, it's very strong, very intelligent, and from what I've heard, it's also very adaptive, uh, and all those qualities mean it's very hard to destroy. Yeah, but it has to be nicked her name how to destroy reptile and it has had several cross tests with other SCPs which really prove the point uh, one very well known one is <coughs> uh, SCP uh, let's have a look SCP 800 1200 1300 1400 409 400 among others there are so many of them I'll talk about all of them later on but uh, yeah it uh, the testing with it has sometimes gone downright evil like I me mean, I've heard of one test where the foundation staff put children in the containment chamber of 680 uh, to see what happened and of course he was thrown in there himself uh, for his sadistic behaviour. So, this has to be proven almost impossible to destroy. They, after anomalous tests, they tried to destroy him with more conventional means. Uh, and basically, all of them either didn't work or were outright denied for being too dangerous. Let's go on to the next one. And here's another very iconic SCP. It's outright the original SCP. It's SCP-173. SCP-173 is a statue constructed of concrete and rebar with traces of Krylon brand spray paint. It cannot move within a direct line of sight, but can move without one. Therefore, line of sight must not be broken at any time, and personnel are instructed to alert one another before blinking. Because the SCP-173 can, within literally a blink of an eye, it can move several meters, and then snap the neck of the victim, killing them. It has been cross headed with uh, 682 once, and the outcome was that 682 maintained constant eye contact. So, mobile task force guards uh, shot the eyes of uh, once, uh, 682, causing it to <coughs> uh, trigger 173. 173 attempted to kill 682, but 682 not only regenerated, but it also got uh, a pair of large uh, unblinkable eyes, several of them across the entire body. And this proves pretty effective against 173. Next up is SCP-053. SCP-053 is a small three-year-old girl, or at least she appears to be, uh, with an intelligence of above average, slightly above average, but she has some anomalous effects of course. The main one is that whenever someone comes close to her for more than 15 minutes or uh, attempts to touch her, they will immediately become paranoid. They, they will feel like there's something wrong with the child and attempt to kill SCP-053 before 
killing off everyone in the room. Uh, this effect, when 053 gets hurt in any way, the attacker dies through a cardiac arrest, or SCP-053 quickly regenerated. The SCP Foundation tried another test with 053 versus 6A2. Uh, what happened was that 6A2 uh, was put close to 053, but took pretty shortly there was no attack from anyone whatsoever. He said 053 approached 6A2 and 6A2 allowed 053 to play with it and even to draw with uh, crayons on its nostrils. And they had a very, very happy time together. When 682 was put back in its containment chamber, it tried to resist heavily and even killed multiple MTF guys, mobile task force. Uh, 053 was also very sad, and they seemed to have developed a friendship with one another. Pulling ourselves a little bit out of 682 right now because this is a completely different SCP. It is 009. SCP 009 is kind of like water but with a reddish hue on it. And its temperatures, its boiling point and its freezing point have been flipped. The water boils below minus 100 degrees Celsius and freezes above 0 degrees Celsius. However, when any normal water comes in contact with it, that water will turn into an instant of 009. And this obviously can cause crystallization and death of human subjects, as has been observed before. Here's another SCP pattern of the less known ones in Series 1. It is, let's have a look. Uh, series 1 is the original SCP series. Uh, I'm going to hit pause here. Here we go again with SCP-219. It is a device consisting of primarily of large pistons driven by an electric motor. The entire machine is supported by thorium alloy. The outer frame is also made of the same alloy. On the outside is a IBM PC keyboard and monitor with shockable Zone foam. Reason being that this machine is basically a resonance generator. In other words, it can resonate various objects around it. When you program it for a specific object, uh, it goes through a series of vibrations, eventually leading to the uh, object that you have been programmed for shattering and or otherwise falling apart. And here is an SCP that cannot be talked about as well. I've jumped from series 1 to series 3. It is SCP <coughs> for the reason for that <coughs> having to do with uh, sensitive information or profanity. It's just because you literally cannot talk or write about this thing. Let the pictograms speak for themselves at the SCP Foundation wiki site, but I'll also quickly show some of them right here.
So I'm trying to keep this video a little short, so I'm going to give myself one more SCP to talk about, and that is mine. What I'm working on right now. It doesn't have a number yet, but currently I'm working on improving some narrative on uh, my very first SCP. Uh, it's a virus that can turn adults over age 50 into children age 4 to 14. Anyway, that is that said. Hope to see you next time. Bye. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you do, please give a thumbs up and share this video with all your friends and perhaps consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you and I'll see you next time.